good day. So if you guys have been living under a rock, let me just explain really quick what it is. So Tesla is actually ha- holding an event. It's going to be their annual stockholders meeting, but then also combining that with what they call battery day. Now they've had other uh, events like this when it comes to, re- when it came to revealing the cyber truck, when it came to revealing uh, their uh, autonomous driving and robo taxis and that sort of thing, as well as the model, all the, all the previous models that they've uh, released and uh, semi trucks, all that good stuff. And every single time, there's always been uh, a similar reaction. You'll have, except for the Cybertruck, there was a pretty strong sell-off after the Cybertruck came out because a lot of people hated it. But then the stock just cruised right back up because of the amount of demand that uh, seemed to have come in, which is pretty shocking, uh, to say the least. And I think that perhaps we end up seeing a pretty similar reaction uh, leading up to a battery day, which is again on Tuesday. And, you know, the stock closed after hours at 449.50. I don't think that there, I don't, I don't think it's crazy to think that we see somewhere close to 500 uh, by the time Tuesday rolls around Christian. What do you think? Wow. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Um, it's so hard. Well, what do you think the market's going to do overall tomorrow? So tomorrow, I think we're going to see a pretty decent pop. I mean, we're already okay. seeing uh, futures. NASDAQ futures are already up. Dow is down slightly, but I think there's a lot that's uh, riding on um, uh, the uh, Justice uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg that passed away. And so there's already a lot of controversy going on with that. Uh, which kind of has the markets a little bit mixed, but the NASDAQ's been beat down and tech stocks have been beat down so much that I think that we at least see a pop on Monday and we could see a lot more volatility throughout the week. Yeah, I think it's going to have a a move. Man, I don't know about 500. That sounds really nice. (laughs) Um, I think it'll go above 450. Post battery day though, I, I... I have a stop set at 418. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's going to be a sell-off after battery day. I think there's definitely a possibility that could happen. And if we look at the latest example with Apple, there could be a similar reaction. There could be a lot of hype leading up to it. And if they don't live up, if they don't come out with something that surprises everybody or wows everybody and lives up to the hype, we could see a sell-off. And maybe we even see it during the event itself, kind of like what we saw with Apple where it ran all the way up to 118 and then sold off, and now it's come back down to 106, 105, which, honestly, I think if you guys are curious about Apple, we already talked about that last week, but it is a no-brainer buy as far as I'm concerned, and we might end up getting another opportunity to get some tests on the cheap if that happens as well. Yeah, I looked at – I was trying to find the best comparison, and I know you gave a couple examples, but last year when they had the uh, self-driving event, it went down afterwards. Now, it was a little bit different because – Actually, the stock was in a downtrend and it had gotten beaten up some earnings. And then the day after was earnings. So yeah. I don't think it's comparing apples to apples, but it's the best thing I can go off of. Um, and we just know this has been so hyped. Yeah. So um, we're both in it. You know, I've said it before that I'm going to sell my half my stake um, on Tuesday. And then I'll sell it in the morning or I'll, I'll sell it before battery day at some point, which I think it's like four 30 Eastern time. Yeah. Um, so I'll send it at, sell at some point on Tuesday and then I'll set a stop at four eighteen afterwards, planning on getting back in. I mean, yeah. I'm getting in. If it drops to three eighty, I'm getting in wherever it stops. <laughs> yeah. And that's the beauty of this stock is that it is so volatile and that when it has these crazy run-ups and you don't take anything off the table, it's almost kind of like, what are you doing? Because more time, more times than not, you're going to see some sort of pullback of some kind. Now, and that's just uh, the, from the active trader standpoint. Obviously, if you just want to invest in this thing, I think that there's definitely a case that can be made for that as well. Um, but we're talking more along the lines of just kind of like actively trading it, not necessarily day trading it, but like swing trading it here and there, holding it for uh, you know a couple of weeks or or a week or two, depending on how it re- how it moves, and then you know buying back in on the dips after we've taken some profit. So. Um, yeah. You know, Christian and I have do both. We, we have it in our long-term accounts, and then we're in and out of it all the time. So um, I think that that's probably – I think probably what you would end up treating this is, as is more, more or less like an earnings play. You, you, you kind of yeah. take advantage of all the hype that's leading up to it. You get out before – you know, you get out while the going gets good, and then, uh, you know, you kind of come back and play off of the uh, overreaction when it comes to the sell-off later on. So Yeah, and let me – Let me give a clear prediction so we can see of it next week. Um, I think it creates a support above 450 leading up. 
Um, but I, I'll tap that out at 460. So I think it's going to be in that range uh, up to a battery day. So that's my prediction, and I think there's going to be a sell-off afterwards. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I mean, it's, it's hard not to agree with, with that there. I think that there's definitely – I don't think it's crazy to think that it can't get to 500. Um, no, just, no, no way. I mean, it could. We've seen this thing move. It could yeah. definitely – Get five fifty. This moved thirty five percent in the last you know week and a half. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely think we can see it get there. And um, just a, a couple of highlights that we're expecting. One of them is that the million mile battery, which is highly anticipated right now. There's a lot of people thinking that that's probably what's going to be revealed and probably end up being the highlight of the show. Uh, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's the 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 battery that essentially you can put in the vehicles, whatever vehicle you choose. And the life of that battery is going to last for a million miles. Um, not not a million mile charge. Let's not be crazy. But, you know, before the battery basically becomes unserviceable, unusable, it will last a million miles. So, I mean, essentially, that car could last you a lifetime. So that's going to be a game changer if uh, they actually reveal that that is possible and that's going to be going into production. I mean, that's going to change the company's, you know, the way, way people view this company for the, for the next several decades, I think. Here, here's my question for you. Is that enough? Because right. we've heard about this for right. a little bit. Or do you think it needs something else? Well, and that was going to be my next point. So there's a lot of anticipation as far as that's concerned. So I think that a lot of people are already expecting something like that. So what they're going to have to do is probably provide something extra. And uh, what I mean by that is when you look at some of their other events, you know, uh, like a Cybertruck event where they came out with like a four-wheeler or something like that, or... Like um, when they came out, I think it was, was it the Model Y? I believe it was a Model Y or Model 3. They ended up revealing the Roadster and the semi-truck all in the same event. Everybody went crazy. So um, I think if there's something that they reveal that not a lot of people are expecting that ends up providing a ton of ton more value to the company, then we could see a huge move. But if all that, all that gets revealed is just stuff about the battery that we kind of already know that's coming, then, yeah, that's when I think the sell-off will definitely occur. Yeah, um, I have a feeling. So everybody's talking about the million mile battery. I think that's baked into the price. Yeah, but um, you know, I think there also be might be some things similar to Apple's presentation last week, where yeah. on the surface it might not seem so interesting, um, but it actually is very impactful. So like longer distance batteries, you know, as far as without charge, maybe upgrades. Um, to their charging stations, efficiencies, so costs. Like I, I expect to see a lot of things. I mean, this is this is called Battery Day. Yeah. So um, I expect to see some things that maybe people might not be so excited about, but I think it helps the business a lot. Earnings moving forward um, and efficiencies, you know, the bottom line. So yeah. that's going to be great, which may be a short term may not impact it short term, but I think in the long term, it'll help it out. Well, and I think one thing we're overlooking too is just batteries that re relate to solar, like storage, energy storage, as far as, mm -hmm. you know, the, the battery packs that, you know, will be living on the side of homes that, get, you know, where the solar panels will be absorbing all that energy and then storing it overnight so that you will be completely off of the grid, all kinds of stuff um, that I think that, you know, we could, that could be re revealed that maybe we're not expecting, but either way, it's going to be exciting. We'll be here for you on Tuesday. We'll be live streaming. So again, uh, make sure that you're hanging out with us and just kind of wanted to touch on that tonight. Make, make that the, the first order of business. Yeah.